I'm Catherine and today I'm going to be sharing a few of my favorite hair products, my hair heroes, so to speak. I haven't always been a hair person. I've got hair, but I've never paid too much attention to it. It just was always there in the background. And more recently, I've decided to start paying a bit more attention and giving it a little bit more loving care. So let's get started. So now the first thing that every girl needs is a good hairbrush. My favorite hairbrush at the moment is actually this. It looks really strange. I'm sure some of you are like, is that a hairbrush? It is. It's called a Tangle Teaser. It fits into the palm of your hand really easily. It's got a little lid that you clip on like that. And it's so easy to use and it really just helps to kind of get rid of any tangles and knots. It just slides through your hair. So I really recommend this brush. It comes in this little format as well, which is quite fun. So if you are buying it for a little girl who's got really knotty curly hair, maybe make it a little bit more fun. She can keep her hair clips and everything in the bottom there. Then there's a new type of hairband which I've recently discovered. It's called the Invisi Bobble, and it looks like this, which is really quite different. What it does is it keeps your hair in place without pulling on your hair and damaging your hair. So that's a good little option. Then obviously every person needs to use shampoo and conditioner on a every day, every second day kind of basis. So my favorite one at the moment is this Davines. You can see I've almost finished it. Um, that's the shampoo and this is the conditioner. I got these at Carlton Hair, but if you're looking for a budget shampoo, this Dove Intensive Repair Conditioner and Shampoo is a good range to try. It also comes with a mask over here, so you could use a mask once a week. Then for my kids, I try and keep them away from the harmful chemicals and shampoos because they've got such sensitive skin. So I've recently been using this range. It's called Pure Beginnings, so this is the shampoo and the conditioner. Um, it's got no petrochemicals and parabens and animal products and adults can use it as well But it's just a really nice brand for kids So those are the sort of basic products that every person will normally have a hairbrush a shampoo and conditioner some hair band That was me just a few months ago and more recently. I've started branching into a few other products I started with something called Moroccan oil Moroccan oil is like a hair argan oil that you put through your hair it helps to keep it soft and manageable a similar kind of product which you can use is this one called L'Oreal Alviv Extraordinary Oil. So this I've also been using. Um, you use it after you've washed your hair while it's still damp. Um, and it just makes it more manageable and it adds a lot of moisture back into your hair which is great. Then more recently I've been treated to a really lovely product which I'm sure most of you have heard about before and I've been loving it. It's my new GHD. And that has made such a difference to my life, I can't actually explain to you. If you watch previous videos of mine, you'll see that my hair kind of is a bit wild and all over the show. And today it's looking nice and clean and sleek. So it's because I've been using that product. When you do use a straightener or a curling iron or any sort of heat on your hair, you need to protect it from the heat because otherwise you're basically just burning your hair. Um, so something like this GHD Straight and Smooth Spray. Um, this is for thick, coarse hair, which is what I have, but this is the other one that you can use. It's just a heat protect spray. So you spray that through your hair while it's a little bit damp, and then you style it. When you use the GHD, make sure that you've dried your hair thoroughly with a hair dryer first. Never use it on wet hair, otherwise you'll be starting to steam off hair everywhere, and it's not very good for your hair. If you're looking to get the effect of sleek, straight hair without a GHD, then I recommend this little product here. It's called Style Straight Blow Straight Potion. So you basically spray this on your hair before you blow dry it. And then when you blow dry it, you need to be using one of these kind of brushes. I've never quite got the angle right, but you've got to like do the whole brush your hair out so that you get the sleek and straight look. When you do want some sort of waves in your hair, um, there's a couple of options. It's something that I'm starting to experiment with now. This uh, product from L'Oreal is called the Heat Protect Styling Spray for Waves. So when you are maybe using a curling tongue, you would use this particular product because it doesn't make it so sleek and straight that you can't add a curl. So this product might be a good idea to use. If you are using a curling tongue, so the sea salt spray is always what you do use to give your, part, your hair a bit of body and texture. So this gives you a bit of a beach wave look. But it's quite a nice product to use if you're looking to get a bit of a curl or some texture to your hair. And then once you've done your sleek and straight or your curly waves or your beach waves or whatever, to set it and keep it in place you need to use some sort of hairspray. And I've been using this particular one. It's got an amazing scent. It smells like raspberry and vanilla. And this will be a stronghold hairspray that will just keep everything where you want it to stay until you've decided to brush it out and get rid of it. A few other tools you might want to use when you're brushing thick hair is a, is a sort of wide tooth comb. Um, 
this is also a really good little product from GHD to just get rid of the little flyaways when you're trying to just make it very sleek. And then these little clips from GHD are great if you're wanting to do a curl or you're trying to section off your hair to do the sections underneath. It's good to invest in a couple of these clips. So there you have it, some of my favourite hair products and tools that help me to create different looks with my hair. I hope I've inspired you to try something different and not just get stuck in the same old rut. Thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel below.